Hey everybody, it's time for Let's Do It Wednesdays with your host, Melissa Green. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Melissa. I'm sorry this video is a little late. Um, I've just been really busy with like college stuff right now. I just found out I got into Durham. So yeah, high five for me. Alright, so um, I'm just going to make this uh, video a little bit quick because I'm feeling a little bit sick if you can hear from my voice. And um, next week, I promise you, I'm going to make like one of the best videos I have ever made. Like one of the best. That's a promise. Okay, so uh, first gay date. Um, let's see. It was with a girl named Jillian. No, wait, no, 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 no. Danielle, Danielle. And I feel kind of bad because I kind of met her online. I met her through friends. And um, she was British, blonde. And she, I didn't realize she was two years older than me. But she was in grade um, nine or ten, I can't. And I remember meeting for the first time. It was like really awkward. It was not the greatest date in the world. <laughs> oh my god. And um, I remember we went to the movies. We saw, oh my god, we saw the Angelina Jolie movie. Oh my god, the Changeling. Yeah, we saw that movie. And I was trying to come on to her. And like, I was trying to like touch her, you know, like the scary parts. Like, oh my god, scary parts. Uh. But there was no scary parts. So like, I had to pretend I was scared at the one. The one scary time in the uh, in the entire damn movie. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's pretty much. And um, she had this cute, cute British accent. I guess that's why I've always been attracted to British girls. And I've always been, like, I've always been really good at doing a British accent, so I think that's where I got from it. I don't know. Um, so, that was pretty much what I, like, what happened with me. Um, oh, fuck. Um, that was pretty much my first, like, my first legit gay day, because, like, nothing really happened. All we did was we went to the mall, then we went to a movie. And then her parents picked her up. So that's pretty much like a regular first heterosexual date. It was okay, but it wasn't it wasn't good. Like um I think my first like best gay date was with actually her friend Jillian and we I met her at the mall, we hanged out, we went back to her place and we made out. And I think that was my like first real legit gay kiss, and I was like dancing on ice. So when I was like, I was like dancing in the car. I'm like, yeah, step your fingers, do the step, you do it all by yourself. Let me see you do it. <laughs> okay, um, that was like my first gay date. And I think like people get a little weirded out when they they think, ah. Uh, you know, gay, like you see on TV and you think, oh my god, these gay dates must be, like, amazing. Like, oh my god, you're like, what's going on here? <sighs> but no, like, they're the same. Like, they can be as crappy as fuck and as boring as shit as no matter what. And I think now we're distinguishing between the two. That doesn't matter. Like, we all have the same dates. Not all of our relationships are ones that we end up to be together forever with. And not, um, and sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't, but that's what I love about dating. You know, I'm still looking for that, that one true love. And one day she'll come into my life, and she'll be really hot. <laughs> and, you know, I guess, like, it feels weird, because it's like a journey now. Like, from grade 9, right now, to grade 12. And it feels so weird, because coming from my first gay date... To where I am now is so freaky. It seemed like the time has gone by so fast. But they got this closet girl, and now I'm out, and it's it's so weird. 
and now college and life is going to start. And I'm just like, I'm starting a whole new chapter of my life or a whole new book. Like high school, over. Now college is about to begin. And that kind of scares me and excites me at the same time. So I guess that's whole pretty much the journey of life. And I'm just going to grab it by the horns and take it. Anyways, this video is getting really long. So I'm going to let you guys off. So I'm going to end it off with my internet high five. Okay, so let's do it. One, two, three. Internet high five. Yeah. Internet high five. <laughs>